Well, community leaders are asking for more help when it comes to public safety in Broad Ripple. CBS 4's Levi Harvey found out what they're asking for tonight. They're, uh, the the vibe has changed over the course of the years. Tyler and Monica lives in the Broad Ripple Village area. He tells me that what he once considered a vibrant hotspot in the community is now going downhill. I've seen uh, that it's gone from a you know, family friendly bohemian neighborhood to now broken glass on the streets. Every time I park my car, I have to make sure I don't get a flat tire. And that's why the Broad Ripple Village Association is pushing for change. This comes after multiple homes, businesses, and cars were damaged by gunfire in the past few weeks. Jordan Dillon, executive director for the association, says she's pushing the city and IMPD for change. We were, you know, overall uh, disgusted with, with what happened and very disappointed in uh, what's going on in the community. Uh, late at night. That's why it's calling out city leaders and IMPD for help. Last week, her team sent out a letter requesting everything from more streetlights, police presence, and barriers in the area. And so far, she believes the city is supportive. And are hoping that those meetings happen um, swiftly, to say the least. Uh, every week that goes by that we, we don't have any type of resolution or plan is another weekend when, when something dangerous could happen. Keith Potts, city county counselor for the Broad Ripple area, says things won't change overnight, but change is coming. And I know Councillor Barth and I were both committed to continuing to work with city leaders, with the Hogsett administration, and uh, with IMPD to address the public safety concerns in the area and make sure that Broad Ripple is a safe place for everyone. We also reached out to IMPD, but they declined to speak on this. There's still no time frame on when we'll see changes in the area, but advocates say it's their top priority to make the streets safer. In Broad Ripple, Levi Harvey, CBS4 News. Levi, thank you. A growing